Hey, what's up guys? Clack here, and today's video is how to get big on YouTube. And how to get big on YouTube? Um, I have no fucking idea. Hell, I post a video of a possible UFO footage, and I only get 26 views. 26 fucking views! Now, I'm sure tags and titles and content matter, but to this point, I feel like I could pull my dick out for Haramabi and get zero views. Why some chick can twerk and gain 250,000 fucking subscribers over one night. Now, this is just me, but I think that's a little bit fucked. And as a YouTuber, I've learned you can actually get a lot of views by making guides. So far, that's been the easiest way for me to gain viewership. Now, if you're going to make a Let's Play video, good fucking luck. I hope you like getting 10 views for a video that you spent 6 to 8 hours on editing. So, you really gotta be really unique. Like, when I say unique, your dick better be blue or it's not getting shit. Or hell, you could make fun of an 8 year old and somehow get 4 million subscribers. I won't say any names, maybe it's the no chin, but I don't know. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked. So, when I say making guides, it literally means it could be the most basic guide you can think of about anything. It could be from gold farming to what spec to run, from what rotations would Harama be, be alive if he was white. Um, all these things could be easily made with not too much thought and still get a decent amount of views. Alright, let's take a look at the top YouTubers who do the Let's Play videos. I like to think there's only between three main YouTubers who do Let's Play. That's going to be between Markiplier, PewDiePie, and Jacksepticeye. Now, you must ask yourself, what's the difference between you and Haramabi? Again, this is what makes you unique, so you better have a blue dick. Markiplier has a voice of a god, so he literally can say anything and do anything and make a girl wet. And Japseptica, he's a guy who uses drugs before every video, which explains why he's more active than an 8-year-old kid with ADHD that's also high on drugs. And PewDiePie, well, he makes us all cringe in a very special way, and that's very hard to come by. And for some fucking reason, you can do videos on reviewing and unboxing. Literally, you can get a crazy amount of views. You could unbox a Barbie Dream House 2.0 and get 2.1 million views. 2.1 fucking million views on a fucking Barbie doll house. Excuse my French. <sighs> Damn it. Maybe I should just quit my job, start ordering Barbies. Who the fuck is going to judge me if I'm making 5,000 off of every video? Or fucking unboxing Barbies. No one. All right. Time to wrap things up, uh, just basically, YouTube life isn't easy. You must be willing to put a lot of hours, a lot, a lot, a lot of hours of work in just to get shit on by every viewer and every comment that you see in your videos. But getting shit on makes you grow, so really, take it in, learn from those experiences, and, you know, try not to get shit on, pretty much. That's, that's, that's the main goal here. Peace out, love ya, good luck.